Okay, what is going on guys? Welcome my Amazon Lions. I'm super excited today to make this video for you guys because we're gonna dig deeper into the key strategies of product launch. Now I know two videos ago, I did a video on the overall how to properly launch your product and right and I mentioned some of the key strategies that are absolutely crucial in launching your product. Now I've noticed that because I make these videos, I try to make them short and I don't want to take too much of your time. I find that there's a lot of detail that uh, additional details that I can share with you guys about each point that is actually going to help you properly set it up. So therefore I'm doing a series of three to four videos. We're going to talk about all of them in much more greater detail and uh, so that you guys can actually successfully implement it in your business. That's it. So the first one we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about the listing itself. As you guys remember, I'll put the link in the description below so you guys can see um, the, the full video, the full summary video that I did two videos ago. Um, but uh, let's get into it. Let's talk about the listing itself. I know that I've talked to you guys about how important the listing itself is because that's your first impression to your buyers. Now, a lot of people, when they go to Amazon, if they don't see a proper listing, right, what they're going to do is they're going to jump from one listing to another. We got to stop that. Our opportunity in creating a really interactive, um, a really simple, direct, answers all your questions, is high quality listing, resolution pictures and everything is because we want to keep the buyer on our page, right? We want them to stay and we want them to purchase the product. and. Our listing should answer any questions that they may have. Whether it's about the product itself, whether it's the dimensions. Guys, if any product you list, make sure you mention dimensions. Um, people want to know how big it's going to be, like especially like some... Um, I've been doing a lot of... Uh, when I do my product research, as you guys know, that I start with a really broad category. I don't zero in on a niche market. I start with a broad category and I see what is best seller, what are the best selling products in that category. I, to me, it doesn't matter what I sell, honestly, as long as it's a profitable product. I know a lot of you guys will be like, you know what, Tam, I'm going to sell baby products or I'm going to sell uh, furniture or what have you, right? But I'm not like that. I think you guys uh, should get away from that mentality and think about what profitable product I can sell. It will open your horizons to different things you never thought existed. So having said that, the proper listing is your gateway to building your sales velocity. And guys, I know I talk a lot about sales velocity and social proof. And to get social proof, you just need more reviews and sales, right? That's your social proof that, okay, this product is selling, so it must be good quality because people are buying it. So we want to build sales velocity. And that is... Uh, one of the first things that we do to build sales velocity and to end up on page one is to build a perfectly uh, orchestrated listing. So we're going to go through some examples on Amazon, but I just wanted to share with you guys why it's so important to really nail down your listing. So let's talk about our pictures quickly. Your pictures, as you guys know, anything that is not high resolution, people tend to stay away from it. You gotta have enough pictures, max out on the number of pictures that Amazon allows you. Make sure they're high, super high quality. Make sure they're really good angles that shows different aspects of the product. And make sure some of the pictures actually mention the dimensions. So you can do that through Photoshop. Once you've taken your picture, take your measurements and Put the measurements on one of the pictures like photoshop it in um, if you guys don't know how to i'd love to show you guys how to but nonetheless you want to make sure that the prior pictures are descriptive and pictures guys that is one way to clickbait if you guys don't know the concept of clickbait is basically attracting a customer based on a picture so you put some kind of tagline like um uh, if you have a wooden piece, right? Like I'm just giving an example. It'd be like, yeah, maple, red oak, something. Something that really sounds nice and uh, really attracts the buyer's attention for that product and something that they really consider to be a high uh, quality of that product. So that's why we clickbait it. We want those pictures to attract buyers. So it's a lot of people don't tell you guys, but you can actually like kind of advertise, right? Inside your picture, in your main picture for Amazon, for your listing. So 
not a lot of people do it. I see that they list the actual product, but they don't really write anything on it or they don't really put anything extra extravagant on it. Like I, that is my opportunity. I feel like that I can actually clickbait and I can actually uh, tell the buyer something about the product. Maybe there's a discount you're running, right? You can put it like an amazing price or on sale or whatever, what have you. So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our pictures are high quality. And the way to do that is either you're gonna uh, hire a photographer, a lot of them on Fiverr, they do it for $35 a pop. But if you don't have the funds and if your funds are low and you don't know where to get high quality pictures, contact your supplier guys. You know those pictures when you were searching for products on whatever, Alibaba or whatever you were searching, right? They had a list of pictures that enticed you to buy that product from them, right? They are obligated to give you those pictures when you, once you buy the product from them. Ask your supplier nine out of 10 times, they're gonna give it to you for free, guys. Like, that's how you can get like your high quality pictures without having to spend a dime. You've already paid them for manufacturing. You've ordered hundreds of units, right? For God's sake, what is a few pictures that they're gonna give it to you? So this will also save you time because you don't have to hire anybody to take the pictures for you. And money, of course. So once we get our pictures, really high quality pictures, we're gonna start working on our listing. The title of your listing is absolutely important. It has to detail the product very specifically what it is think about the words that people will be searching when they want that product so one way to do this is we go to merchant words right and i've shown you guys and i'm going to show you guys again we go to merchant words and what we do is we basically search for keywords that are searched within that category right so we're gonna search the top 100 keywords that are used to find that product around the world. And what that gives us is a search engine optimized keywords. And you're gonna use the 100 keywords to create your title, guys. And you're gonna use those 100 keywords in your description. Now, not all of them. You can use probably the first 20 or whatever, but it gives you the option. And you're gonna use it in your key points, guys. Like that's how you in search engine optimize, that's how you optimize your listing. So it's searched when, because Merchant Words, what it shows you is that the volume of uh, people searching a specific keyword around the world on Amazon. So how amazing is that, guys? Like that's, that is, those are like basically marketable. When I tell you guys that really make it marketable, really think about what keywords will entice buyers, that's what you got to do guys and I'm gonna show you guys a, a few times merchant words because we're gonna use it for PPC campaigns as well um, but it's so powerful guys and I have uh, my mentors link down below you're gonna get 70% off it's $9.99 per month and usually it's $30 so uh, that and also Jungle Scout Jungle Scout is another tool that I use to uh, figure out the profitability of a product okay so um, I'm gonna show you guys that right now. Uh, that's where we'll start once we start looking into Amazon listings because I wanna show you guys what high quality looks like and what an optimized title and listing looks like. So that's it guys. Uh, keep in mind that you gotta do these things. You gotta make sure that your groundwork is really uh, top notch before you start selling because that's gonna really set the pace uh, for what is to come. Guys, I always say that what starts wrong ends wrong. So you gotta start it right. So uh, I have Google here, so let's go to Amazon. We'll go to Amazon.com. All right, so let's take a look at some of the listings, some of the high quality listings I wanna show you guys. So um, I usually start with like a category like, um, not even wall shelves, let's start with shelves. Okay, let's see what comes up. Because we wanna see guys again, the top selling products in this category, and this is gonna really set the pace for us. So. These are some of the products. This is Prime, okay? This is Amazon's Choice, Best Sellers. Now, these don't mean that they're running PPC campaigns or anything. They're organic, okay? So, this is something, okay, that's perfect price range that I wanna sell, and it looks good. This one is, uh, I don't know if people use it. This is more like a unique item that people can put around their house. So, you gotta think about, like, what is the marketability of that product, right? The other stuff kind of look just looks like um, chain link uh, shelves. Uh, this is another item that is actually like really popular. People buy it. It's part of the modern design these days. Um, 
okay so let's take a look so i think this is what i'm interested in even this one guys like it's it's actually a really really good product you see guys when you provide a coupon or something they actually put like a green tag so it automatically my eyes go into that right so let's take a look at this listing and see what it looks like all right 26.99 that's perfect price range because it's going to give us enough at least i think 50 percent um profitable profit on this uh, after our fba costs and after our manufacturing and shipping costs so um this one okay um, if you guys can see like okay the pictures are okay they're not that bad I can still see a little bit of pixelation but it's not bad so let's take a look at some of the other pictures okay do you guys see like how they've described it they've put three ways to install this in one picture you can actually tell how to install this this is amazing guys like it shows you how to like really think outside of the box and give you options right um, and it's high quality and then another picture an actual setting right it they actually used it and uh, people want to see how it's going to look in a room right so that's another way of doing this and uh, remember guys this product we saw as well this shelving that's another one popular okay you can install it in the bathroom look how great it looks guys like it's these are called floating shelves um it's a little it's not so much so much but like because it has the bottom piece but it, these are pretty much called floating shelves uh in that category so it has the name of the product of the basically uh the seller you see it's sold by baker so they've put the name of their business of their uh amazon business floating shelves wall mounted see these are keywords wall mounted floating shelves Rustic wood wall shelves set of three for bedroom, bathroom, living room, and kitchen. You see how they put, so they probably searched that these keywords are used when they're searching for shelves. People search for like living room shelves, bedroom shelves, bathroom shelves, kitchen shelves. So that's why they have optimized their listing. They have like a whole bunch of reviews, which is great. And we're going to look into this deeper to see what it looks like, the profitability for them. So they have a coupon. You can take an extra uh, $3 uh, when you apply this coupon. So that actually brings the price down to $23.99. Perfect. And look at this, guys. Like some of the wording here is very nice and marketable. Magically transform your walls within with our floating shelves. Like things that really appeal to the buyer. They know that aesthetics is key to this product, right? So that's why like I read some of this stuff, guys. Tired of placing stuff around horizontally? Look at this. They have answered, they have started with a problem. What people have problem with. And then this is, uh, they're basically saying that this product is going to solve this problem. So that's what I mean, guys. You guys got to mention what your product is going to solve. What it is, what it, what's the value it's going to provide to the buyer. And that's how you get the reader's attention. And they've kind of closed it with these cool quotes to basically um uh, highlight those points um different assembly for different styles that's another one simple and suitable they're talking about simplicity and how easy it is to install the product um easy to assemble right here they've put the dimensions guys um they they've given some ideas on what to use it for um to safely hold collectibles photos books toys artworks trophies like they're trying to tell you what to use this for it's amazing so that's what it is guys and that's how that's what a really well done listing looks like it is simple to the point it explains everything look at this guys like they've actually provided the different dimensions for these right and they've put in like did you see they've put in their company name inside the pictures they photoshopped it in to basically um market market their products to you so see guys they even have a video to really give people ideas on how to install these what it will look like and all that so that's what i mean by a beautifully done uh listing so if we go to the sellers um let's go to their sellers uh what do you call it? storefront right so let's see how many products they have actually that's what i'm interested in i want to see like if they're selling anything else so this 
they, they basically have established business here. They have all kinds of like products they're selling. So what I want to do is um, run Jungle Scout against their storefront. Sometimes they will allow you, sometimes they won't, but let's see if Jungle Scout will load. So this is the Chrome extension, guys. I have a 20% discount in the description below. Um, so make sure you check it out. Make sure you take advantage of this deal. I've basically negotiated that deal with Jungle Scout for you guys. So take advantage. Now, let's take a look. So you will see that uh, they have a Baker Queen. So they have a bunch of products. They have about 12 products. And let me see if we can find there. Floating Shelves is the second one. Um, what I wanted to show you guys is Jungle Scout, how amazing it is. So their average pricing for all of their products is about $34. So they found a comfort zone where they can sell uh, their products. Um, and you will see. So Floating Shelves they are selling 4,130 units per month, guys. How crazy is that? They do 145 units per day. You see, guys, how crazy is that? And this is only 347 reviews, guys. Like, I've seen this kind, these kind of numbers with, like, products that have, like, 2,000 reviews and stuff like that. And they're doing $111,000 plus a month in revenue so if 50 percent of that is their profit guys so you're looking at 55,000 in their pocket a month every month how crazy is that guys look at some of their other products so they have some that are like pretty new not too many reviews this one has 67 reviews is doing 3,000 so it seems like uh, their floating shelves is their like top seller. They have two products, probably different sizes and everything, similar pricing. So you see that how crazy is that, guys? These guys are doing amazing. And their floating shelves is their best seller. They have three sizes like we saw in the pictures. And the third one is basically doing about $56,000 with 163 reviews, guys. And they're an FBA seller. Do you see that, guys? They're an Amazon FBA seller, and this person has made it. This person is probably pulling, like, if I do a quick total, 100, 200, so 210, 15, so say 30, 330, 340, uh, 50, 60, 60, 410, 410. So about $430,000 they do in revenue or in sales a month, which means that if 50%, if it's true for all of their products, right, they're making $215,000 profit in their pocket a month. How crazy is that? And times that by 12 months, they're, they're like well over $2 million they make in sales um a year guys like just profit not sales sorry just profit they sell about four million plus so that's what i mean the power of fba and if you do it right guys you're gonna have an amazing success with it i hope you guys learned something valuable with this lesson today uh next we're gonna talk about your social proof sales velocity and your reviews so that video is gonna come out on monday um which is tomorrow guys Thank you so much for your viewership. I really appreciate it. Subscribe, hit the bell button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment if you have any questions or you just want to say hi. I'd love to chat with you guys. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.